If you're considering using 5G to get online at home, you might be wondering whether you have good enough 5G to do this. So today, we'll run through the three steps you can take to check that your 5G signal is good enough to use 5G broadband at your address. But before we begin, if you have an Android phone, click the link in the description to download our Signal Checker app, which gives you a really good way to check your 5G signal before buying a 5G internet plan. We've explained how to use it a bit more later on in the video. So the first thing you want to do to check your 5G signal is use the mobile network coverage map. This is the 3 coverage checker as an example, which we've linked to in the description if you want to check it out. Just put in your postcode here, then choose the 5G option, and if you look at the map, you'll get a rough idea of the signal in your area. For 5G broadband, you want to focus on outdoor and indoor coverage, because most of the time, your router will be picking up signal from indoors. And because the map only takes a postcode, to put this marker on it. You might also want to zoom in to your exact house to get a better idea of what your signal should be like. The problem with these maps though is they're only an estimate based on where the provider thinks its signal will reach. So they're not perfect, but they're a good first thing to look at. It's also worth mentioning with 3, apart from this map, they have a completely separate coverage checker for 4G and 5G home broadband. So if you put your postcode in here and choose your address, you'll get a more specific, concrete idea of whether they think you can get 5G broadband at your address. So we've also linked to this coverage checker in the description if you're considering buying 3 5G home broadband. Interestingly, because this postcode is right on the border here, at least where this pin is, they don't think you can get 5G, and they're not recommending their 5G outdoor hub either, meaning they don't think the outdoor signal is strong enough for use with an external antenna. To get a more specific idea of what your 5G signal is like, you can test your signal in real time using our Signal Test app, which we've linked to in the description. Once you open the app and grant the necessary permissions, tap the button in the bottom right to check your mobile signal, ensuring that you're using the same network that you're planning to use for 5G internet. You can pick up a cheap pay-as-you-go SIM for testing if you don't already have a SIM card with that provider. Then, as you walk around, the app will grade your signal out of 100. 5G signal can be a bit finicky, so we recommend trying different locations around the house to see if you can find somewhere with good signal. Normally, the best place is an upstairs windowsill or somewhere else elevated on the edge of the property. It's important to note, even what looks like a fairly average score can still be plenty good for 5G broadband. We get about 300 to 500 megabits with the 3 5G outdoor hub, but testing in the same spot that we put the router, we only get a score of about 40 to 50 using the Signal Test app. So you don't need a green score to get good results with 5G broadband. If you can find somewhere where the score stays around 40 to 50 on a consistent basis and you're getting 5G, this should be good for 5G broadband on that network. And it's also worth mentioning, if the app is showing that your signal isn't amazing, like it's stuck around 40 or less, or it's sort of hovering between 4G and 5G, you might still be able to get good 5G internet using an external antenna like the 3 5G Outdoor Hub or the Waveform Quad Mini. With an antenna, you'll be able to pick up stronger 5G signal than your phone can, giving you better speeds and signal once you hook up an antenna to your 5G router. And if you're wondering where you might put an antenna, look for the ENB value reported in the app, then come to cellmapper.net, click search, and type in that ENB value. Click on the result, and you'll be able to find out which mast you're connected to, helping you figure out where you would point an antenna mounted externally on your property. And this can also give you a good idea which side of the property it would be best to place your 5G router to get the best signal and speeds. The two methods we just discussed give you a good way to gauge your 5G signal, but they're not perfect because these maps rely on estimates and they're not very granular. And with our app, while it does give you a really good way to monitor your signal, if it doesn't show decent results, like a fair rating of 40 or more, this can be a red herring because 5G routers can pick up better signal than phones can, especially with an external antenna installed. 
So sometimes, the only way to see if your 5G is good enough for 5G internet is to buy a 5G broadband plan and test it out. This can be difficult though, because 5G routers are fairly expensive to buy and SIM plans sometimes come with long-term contracts. So that's why with 3 5G broadband, they offer a 30-day return policy. So you can set up the router and test what the speeds are like over the course of a few weeks at your address to see if 5G internet is the right solution for your needs. And the same money-back guarantee is also available on their 5G outdoor hub plans. So click the link in the description to the 3 home broadband coverage checker and put in your postcode to see if you can get their 5G hub or 5G Outdoor Hub at your address when you're watching this. Testing your 5G signal for 5G broadband can be a bit tricky, but fortunately, using our app on the same network you plan to get online with, most of the time, you can validate whether or not you have strong enough 5G signal at your address to use 5G home broadband. So click the link in the description to download the app and see what your 5G signal is like at your address. And if you're still not sure and you want to test 5G broadband to see what its real world speeds are like, click the link in the description to the 3 wireless broadband coverage checker and put in your postcode to see if you can get the 5G hub at your address when you're watching this. And if you have any questions about getting started with 5G internet, let us know in the comments and we'll get back to you as soon as we can.